Hi, Brooke. Yeah, Showbiz Tonight had a prime position at the red carpet premiere for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire over the weekend here in New York City. The movie, based on the fourth book of the blockbuster Harry Potter series, is rated PG-13. Along with some darker twists and turns, Harry Potter and his friends are growing up. A couple of marriage proposals, an invitation to a prom, and plenty of screaming muggles, all made for a red carpet premiere worthy of Harry Potter and his young wizard friends. Showbiz Tonight was front and center at New York's Ziegfeld Theater this weekend, the site of the gala premiere for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The wizard and his two friends, Hermione and Ron, return to Hogwarts School of Wishcraft and Wizardry. This year marks a first for the wizards. Their school is hosting the Tri-Wizard Tournament, an exciting and dangerous competition. As students from two competing wizard schools arrive, it's pretty obvious that there's much more going on than the competition. The girls and boys are noticing something else, each other. Is that Hermione Granger with Victor Crump? You're fraternizing with the enemy. Showbiz Tonight caught up with the wizards and asked if art is imitating life. Daniel Radcliffe, he plays Harry Potter, told us he can relate to Harry's awkwardness around girls. Yeah, absolutely. I think any guy can, pretty much. I mean, I'm sure you can. With the adolescence and the awkwardness with girls, I certainly can. I think every male person in the world can relate to that. You know, I mean, it's, it's yeah, no, everyone's had awkward moments with girls, I think. And in the Goblet of Fire, Harry experiences his own awkwardness with a girl. I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. Katie Leung, she plays Cho Chang, who captures young Harry's attention, tells Showbiz tonight she can relate all too well to Harry's uncomfortable moment. I mean, just, you know, um, being really shy about asking your crush out uh, to dance or dinner or whatever, and then not being able to do it, you know, you pluck up the courage and you're like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And then when the time comes, you're like, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Striking up her own courage to get a date for the dance, Hermione, played by Emma Watson, tells Showbiz Tonight she loves that her character is interested in the opposite sex, and she also loves something else about the new film, its darker tone. Yeah, I definitely can. I can definitely relate to a lot of what Hermione is going through. I think um, this is a much darker film. It's much more of a thriller than it's ever been before, and that kind of... Sonny comes to that age where you start to notice the opposite sex and they've got to find partners for the ball and that kind of creates a lot of the humour in, in what is a much darker film. A darker film, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire received a PG-13 rating, but according to director Mike Newell, it should be no surprise to the real Harry Potter fans. I think, simply think that what they'll find is that it's what they expect because they, they know most of these people will have read the book many times and they will know that the biggest, baddest villain in the world is going to hit Harry in this. And if that doesn't get a PG-13, then they'll say there's something wrong. And they're right. New to the Harry Potter series, English actor Ray Fiennes. He plays the nasty Lord Voldemort, and he told Showbiz tonight that playing a dark character in this one was a lot of fun. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire hits theaters on Friday.